Hey everyone, it's Deacon082. Welcome back to Pokemon Red Badgeless. In this episode, some of these sprites looked a little glitchy on the colors as we're walking by. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but it's just something I happen to notice. We're gonna start off this episode by depositing some Pokemon into the PC and changing our bots because we are going to do a lot of stuff in this episode. Let's see how efficient I can be in terms of time. So, we're going to deposit everyone but Mew and Abra like usual when we do this kind of thing. I think we have a full. Yeah, we definitely have a full. We don't need Magneton anymore because we got all the Pokemon we could. We can store Electabuzz. We can store Pikachu and we can store this Bulbasaur. And now we'll change to, I guess, bots 4, because it's the first one that's empty. Okay. So, in the last episode, we did a lot of work with Dittos, and at the very end of the episode, we got a Pokemon on Route 18. We got Ghastly from one trainer. And we're going to start off here by doing another trainer fly. This has been covered many times, but this one should not take very long to execute, so I am not going to cut it out. Plus, already cutting stuff out is really not the way I'd like to do this series. So, here we go. Trainer Fly. Well, Trainer Teleport. I should just call it... I should just rename it Trainer Teleport, because obviously we don't have Fly, so... Why am I even calling it Trainer Fly? I don't know. But we're going over to Route 18 again, and the first Pokemon we're going to catch on Route 18 is, well, we gotta go through the grass here and maybe we'll find the Pokemon I was looking for. Okay, that works. There is Fero. Not exactly what I was looking for, but Fero, we don't have any of the Spiro line yet, so this Fero will really come in handy later on. Plus, it means if we catch a low-level Spearow, we don't have to worry about evolving it. Okay. And another encounter. Okay, what do we have here? We have... Well, that's... That is just perfect. We have Spearow and Fero, so... Um... Yeah, chuck this Master Ball and go to town, because there... Two captures already in this grass. I'm tempted to stick around here and get a Dodoo. Depends on how long it's going to take, because we still don't have our start menu, so... I guess we'll see if I can run into one. Okay, Dodoo did not take very long. This is going to be our third capture of the episode, and we're actually... This is going to be our 59th Pokémon, but we're surprisingly close to being done with this series, because so many Pokémon we have we can just evolve and get so many more from that. Okay, now we're going to execute the trainer fly here with this trainer. And I don't think he has very many Pokemon. I think he's the guy with only one. Yep. Okay, this bird keeper has a Dodrio, level 34. That should go down easily. And when it does, we're just going to teleport back out to Fuchsia. Because we have to make sure we don't run into any other wild Pokemon here, and there's no need to repel, because we can just teleport out. Look at look at all these flyers down here. This is the most entertaining thing in the run so far, is just seeing all these flying types in one spot, and we choose to teleport. And we still don't need to use repels, because we can... Uh, well, now that we've taken out all the trainers on Route 15, we don't have to go through the grass, and we don't have to worry about fighting any trainers. So, we're going to bike back through here, and the Pokémon we're going to find as a result of this trainer fly is another blue exclusive, and this one is normally only found in Cinnabar Mansion. It is Magmar. Looks pretty cool as a red Pokémon. To actually get the color right, and its color scheme is actually perfect to what's going on in the sprite there, with the limited colors and everything being red. It's like the perfect shade. Okay, so we get Magmar, 
And the reason why I changed bosses is because we have a lot more Pokemon that we can get. And a lot more that we're going to get in this episode, so... We're going to do another trainer fly right now. And I'm gonna save just in case because... If I happen to mess it up, that's losing four Pokemon instead of just one, so... Yeah. This one should go pretty well. Now, you can actually get the Teleport TM from you, and then you won't have to worry about all this Abra business. So... But it's just so out of the way that I don't feel like it's useful to go get it. Now we're going into Cinnabar Gym, and I had some wrong information on this before, so I'm gonna hope this is the right way. We have to fight uh, this trainer, first of all. And remember, the first trainer you fight has to walk up to you, so we're taking the uh, slower way. And this guy is not the guy we're going to do trainer fly on, so we'll cut this out. Okay, that juggler goes down, and now we don't have to worry about uh, the guys walking up to us. Uh, I was told it was this guy who is actually the guy we need. However, I'm not confident, because the source I'm actually getting all the trainer fly information from... For some reason, it has a trainer missing, and the trainer that's missing, I have a feeling that it's the wrong data, and they just have that guy yielding nothing, but if that guy yields the Pokemon I'm looking for, it's a faster way. I don't know what he has, because he's never a guy you fight because it's out of the way, so... But this guy's final Pokemon is a level 34 Hypno, and we can now make our way out of the gym. Yes, he dropped his balls. We all knew the dropped my balls juggler would make an appearance even if he's not anything relevant to what's actually going on. Oh, the trainer I was talking about was this guy. I, I think he also gives the Pokemon, but like I said, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to take a chance here. Okay, and now back to Route 14 for about the 40th time in this run. Getting repetitive, I know, but any time you're going to complete your Pokedex, it's going to be repetitive because there are just so many Pokemon to get. Okay, so the Pokemon here is not exactly unobtainable, but it's very, very difficult to get. This is Dratini. You can get Dratini from several other trainers. At least one of them is in Fuchsia Gym. And it's convenient because we're in Fuchsia, and that means we still have two more trainers in Fuchsia Gym we can use, and one more on Route 18. We have to make sure we have enough trainers, so... There's Dratini. And that's going to take a lot of rare candies to get up to 55. You can get Dragonite from a, a trainer fly, but I don't think it's worth it, just because... Well, I'll... I'll mention that in the next episode, when we do some more stuff. Here we have one more trainer fly we're going to do here. And... Let's see, which trainer am I going to choose this time? Um, I guess we'll go in the gym, because... There's nothing else in the gym that's useful, so we'll take this guy. And yeah, I'll cut this battle out, because this guy's not important. And I actually realized something that I forgot to do, and I'll have to take care of. I forgot to get Abra killed in that battle, so we're going to uh, store all our Pokémon in the PC, and we're going to get poisoned again. Um, I guess I probably could have done that glitch, or done the depositing now, because instead of changing the boss before, because I think we had enough room. But now we're just going to... I suppose get Abra killed and find a Venonat to get poisoned, and you've seen this so many times that I'm not even going to show it, so I'll cut to, I guess, the Glitch City part. And that's one way to get Abra killed. Killed by Mew. That's just amazing. Okay, yeah. Okay, now we have Mew here on 10 health. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, jump, and there we go. 
That's the easiest way to time it is just on like the poison takes and step count. So now Mew's going to faint here very shortly. And then we're going to have another repeat of a thing we did last episode, maybe an episode before that. And this time, this is going to be a very long trip, so uh, sit back, relax, and... Oops. I can't believe I just did that. I never do that. I need to stop talking while I do things. Which, of course, would completely eliminate the point of me doing a commentated run of this. Well, um... Yeah, I went into a door because I wasn't paying attention. And I almost did, again. I was one space away. Okay, let's not go in the door this time. That would be good. And now we have to go all the way up this route. And... <laughs> oh boy, why does this have to take so long? But yeah, we have to go quite a long way this time. This is... Last time we did this, how far did we go? We went to Lavender Town? Yeah, this time we're going even farther. So uh, sit back and relax. I mean, you can see why I'm biking so slow. I have to go up all of these rocks, which isn't very fun, personally. It Maybe I shouldn't have used the Route 14 trainer so much just because it causes some problems later. Now we're going to take uh, this method to avoid those trainers that I almost hit last time. Now we're in uh, Celadon, glitchy version of Celadon. Um, well, when I said we're going farther, not farther linearly. Now we're in Saffron. And I gotta figure out exactly how to go north here. I think you can probably just go north anywhere. Where's the actual gatehouse? Because I like to go through them. Okay. Now we're on Route 5. And yeah, as you can see, we are going a long way. We are all the way back in Cerulean. I just dodged the Pokemart. Now we're on Route 4. And I don't know if I've actually made this whole trip yet, this run, but this is one hell of a trip. Here's Mount Moon and the other side of Mount Moon. Now we're all the way over on Route 3, this is just incredible journey of a boy and his bike. Actually, yeah, we almost hit that trainer. That would not have been good. Um, yeah, still making our way. That guy is still here, and now we're in Pewter City. Finally ending our journey in here. All this trip to get the old Amber. And boy, that is one massive trip. Aerodactyl is not an easy Pokemon to get otherwise. So that is literally the easiest way to get Aerodactyl. And now we don't have our walkthrough walls anymore, and we gotta get out of Pewter City. 